Hey y'all, so this is a session that I'm gonna call study break. Um, let me take my glasses off. So right now I'm in the middle of studying. Um, I have my stuff open. I'm taking a little break though. Logical reasoning, I just moved up to like a new level, so I'm not doing that great. So I was like, now it's a good time to take a break. So what I wanna do is I wanna like take a break during my studying and kind of like check in and just like chat. Cause when I'm studying, I feel like I have so many thoughts on what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys like that, but I just wanna vlog it and like, I don't know, just have a real conversation about this stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what I've been doing, like what I did in the session, the study session, um, go over something that I've been kind of struggling with and go over something I've been doing good at and then kind of just chat about some stuff. Um, I do want to do more content that's related around career development as I think that's like really important I said in the description of my other video like I think career development in any any industry is really important but especially in this community like there are too many times where I see people like I'm quitting I'm quitting and I'm quitting stripping I'm quit stripping but then they immediately go back it's like no sis the point is we want to not be here anymore you know what I'm saying like it's not a forever thing and I'm so sorry I'm always sniffling I have allergies but I am getting over the cold right now yeah let me get back to the topic at hand so my study breaks um are gonna be talking about what i did so we're gonna start off i have a couple i have one thing that i need to finish up before i can actually just go ahead and get started with my um applications i ideally want to do it for like a priority because most of the schools that i'm applying to are um doing acceptances or like taking applications on a rolling rolling basis right so I have between a specific time to be considered for priority acceptance. So for the school that I, my number one school, I, I don't know if I want to tell you guys my like top schools that I want to go to and stuff because I don't want to like jinx it. But the top school that I want to go to has a rolling based admission. So that's what I'm gonna. That's what I was doing. I was just like taking some notes on what I could do, um, where I need to start, who I need to contact. Um, and I was also like I spent a, the beginning half of his study session doing this so like non LSAT related things so after that I got right into my um, reading comprehension so I've noticed that my reading comprehension has been a lot better um, I've just been able to pick out what the conclusions are what are the supporting items things like that because I feel like once you can identify the important stuff within the question stem then actually answering the question isn't that hard so like right now I'm doing most supported so with the most supported if I know what the conclusion is all I need to know is the conclusion have the conclusion and I have the supporting dot like supporting section of it I just need to know what piece if true or false would support the statement you know what i'm saying so that kind of stuff has been a little bit easier i don't know what is the reason but like i said i moved up to a different like skill level so something that i was kind of struggling and i've always struggled with this is necessary and sufficient assumption it's kind of like the same situation with that it's just kind of confusing to me and um i'm gonna be taking a time section tomorrow like i'm gonna wake up early but i'm gonna work tomorrow but I'm gonna go early and study a little bit. I wanna work on more necessary and sufficient assumption questions and um, logic games. My logic games have been pretty good. I am I really suck at the hybrid ones, so like I just really suck at them. I'm pretty good at like all the other ones, but the hybrid ones, usually I don't even get to and I have to guess. So hopefully I can, tonight I'm gonna definitely do a time section of logic games. I think um, uh, something that I struggle with is when I take the practice test, or the time sections, I get so discouraged when I get my score. Like, I need to just get over that. It doesn't matter, sis. Like, just fucking take it. Like, you're not gonna... That's a lot of the things I struggle with. Like, uh, actually facing it is kind of hard. So, I'm just getting over it. Whatever, booky, like, bitch. So, I'm gonna do a couple more of these um, reading comps or um, logical reasonings. Uh, I'm going to try to bump up to the next level if I can continuously get these correct. And then I'm going to do one time section for logic games. Um, that's actually what the study plan is suggesting. Um, so 
I think that'll be good. Today is actually Thanksgiving. And I'm here studying. So, um, usually I go home for the holidays. I live away from my family. But honestly, this year, I'm just not in the spirit. You know, I'm just not really in the spirit. I feel like I've been slacking. And a small part of me feels like I don't really deserve to celebrate. And I know some people might say like, Oh, you're being too hard on yourself. But honestly, I've been kind of throwing myself a pity party. I've been throwing myself a pity party and I just don't like it. I don't like the person that I am when I'm like throwing myself a pity party. Because it's just like, bitch, you need to do this. And honestly, I've just been unhappy or just unsatisfied with my life here. I've lived here since I came here for college and I've enjoyed it to its fullest extent, I think. And I'm just ready to move on to the next chapter and do something else. I'm somebody, somebody that needs to constantly move. So I just think, you know, I was always taught that education was the best way, especially as a woman, the best way to move around. That's what my mom told me. And I'm so grateful that she told me that because that's literally the only reason I was able to get away from my hometown. If I didn't take this path with education, I would still be in my hometown, still be doing the same thing. And like, I come from a small hometown. Like, obviously, if I was fucking stripping and doing YouTube, like, I don't, I don't think I'd even feel comfortable doing either of those things, you know? But I think those, those moments in my life were very pivotal in my development. And mind you, I didn't start dancing until... I was older, like I didn't, I haven't been dancing for all that long, I've always just had a regular job. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I am and I don't know, I'm just feeling very stuck in life right now. And that's why I feel like I haven't even really wanted to work my day job, as much as I love my day job. And I haven't even really been interested in dancing all that much, it's crazy. Like, so I am diagnosed with depression, but... Being a high functioning depressed person is so, I can't even, it's so frustrating because people think like because you don't have the traditional symptoms of depression like you can't get up or you, you know, are in bed for weeks at a time. It's just people just kind of brush it off. When I tell people I'm depressed, they're really surprised. I'm like, no, I'm depressed. I'm unhappy. Nothing interests me. Like I, I'm unhappy, you know, people are just so surprised, but it's like frustrating because I feel like people don't believe me for real. Like I feel like people just don't believe me. I tell people I'm introverted, they don't believe me. I tell them I'm depressed, they don't believe me. I tell them I have like a lot of anxiety and they don't believe me. And these things actually make it really difficult for me to do school. Now that I'm actually becoming self-aware of my mental state, like, I don't know how I got through college. I scathed past high school, scathed past college. Like I, I, brought, I had like a, a small drug problem in college. I had a small, alcohol, a big alcohol problem in college. Like, I don't even know how I made it out of that alive, really. And like, now that I'm in this part of my life where it's a lot more slowed and I'm able to just like, you know, be okay with, or even not even okay with, just like recognizing that sometimes I'm just not okay. You know, sometimes I'm not okay, but it's hard to, it's hard to manage. It's hard to like do things. Like, I don't know, the way my anxiety and depression manifests itself is just like, it makes it hard for me to complete tasks, you know? Like, I'll make myself super anxious about having to complete the tasks, and then I'll never do it because I'm anxious about starting it. But I would feel better if I just did it, you know? You know? So it's that kind of constant cycle, and then, like, I start feeling really bad about myself. I start disliking myself a lot because I'm just like, you really can't do this. You really can't just finish this. You really, you know? Like, I start to get really down on myself, so... I'm trying to be more positive and I think like vlogging this experience and like recording when I feel like this will help a lot because I think I'm at my bottom. I'm at the bottom. Like I'm at my breaking point with this. I can't live like this anymore. I was walking my dog today. I was like, I literally can't live like this anymore. I can't be in this city anymore. I can't. As much as I love the people that I've met here and like all that stuff, I just can't. I can't be here anymore. I need to do something. I need to like fulfill my life a little bit more because I do enjoy my job, but it's not like what I want to be doing forever. And obviously, I don't want to fucking be stripping forever. Like, no thanks. I don't even want to be stripping for the next two years, really. But oh, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Like, I don't think people understand like the financial commitment law school is. My dad didn't come from the best financial circumstances, and my mom was like more well off in Japan. So like. 
my mom has a very scarce scarcity mindset. You know, a lot of Asian people do. She's like, save, save, save. You can't have any debt. I didn't have any undergrad debt. None. So, save, save, save. Like, you can't have any debt, no credit cards, blah, 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 blah. And then my dad is a frivolous spender because he never had money growing up. So, like, he would spoil us with things even though we didn't really always have the means to pay for it. So now, as an adult, like, I've been through with credit cards. Like, I fucked myself over with credit cards. I fucked myself up with major debt. Like, these are things that I don't talk about because I feel very ashamed of them. Like, I should have these things. I sh In my head, I'm like, you should know how to handle this. But I don't. So... It makes me feel bad, but I'm slowly learning, you know, I got myself out of all my debt. Honestly, thanks to Nancy, I got myself out of all my debt. And some other things that happened that maybe I'll talk about in another video regarding finances. But it's so easy to get back into that trap, you know, and it's something that scares me. And moving on to the next step is scary. Like, I feel terrified. I feel fucking terrified. Because... Even when I was in college, I felt alone for the most part. Like, I didn't get a lot of family support. Like, my dad's side of the family kind of made me feel like, I don't know. Even now, like, talking to my family sometimes feels weird because they're just like, so now what are you going to do after college? Now what are you going to do after college? I'm just like, y'all don't even go to college. Why are you pressing me about what I'm doing? I'm working, I'm making money, I live on my own, I pay my own bills. So why are you pressing me, you know? Especially when you're not going to support me through school. Like, they're like, when are you going to go? To are you still going to go to law school? When are you going to go to law school? Bro, I'm trying. I am fucking trying. You know what I'm saying? It's like, are you going to pay for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. So it's just like a lot that I'm kind of going through right now. But bottom line, I'm at my breaking point with this shit. And it just needs to get done. Regardless of how I personally feel about it and how I am like mentally. Yeah, I'm going to try to work through it and stuff while I, you know, go to my day job, make money at the club, create content, like, I'm gonna do it all, I don't care, it needs to get done, and I'm gonna go to school, because I need to get the fuck out of this fuck-ass city, like, no, no more, no more, I've been at the same spot for, like, no, this is too much, and I've been saying I want to do this, but I honestly just been scared to take the steps, and when I say I'm self-made, I really mean that shit, you know, I do all this shit by myself, but sometimes it feels, like, overwhelming, and this year had a lot of, like, hurdles. And I, like I said, I was throwing myself a pity party and that can't happen no more. I'm going to keep on studying. I just wanted to, like, do this quick little check-in with y'all. Because somebody did comment. Y'all on my ass. They commented, what about school? Y'all on my ass, but I like it. Keep me, keep me on my toes, please. So, um, here's what I'm doing. I took some notes. Um, this is just for, I'll probably check in with my notes on, um, logic games because i feel like it's a little bit more you can take more notes on that but i don't know how much of this i can like i i know it's copyright protected so i don't know if i can like say what i'm actually doing so because i pay for this i pay for this like program but yes i will check it in a little bit but just wanted to introduce the study the study breaks because these are going to be study breaks where i get to talk to you guys so back to the grind let's go So A is going to be our answer. Now, since we don't have any frames, we're going to prioritize going to if questions. Okay, so they said for these, if you don't have any frames, then you should go to if questions. I'm going to write this down in my, I have a notes, like, I have a notes one for this. So, for, um, If you can't tell, I love Muji pens, but I hate that they bleed really bad with this. These highlighters and the mild liners too. They bleed real bad. All right, I'm tired. I'm tired, I done packed up. I'm about to go back to, I'm actually at my apartment right now. Tomorrow I might go to a little coffee shop to get myself out the house a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back to my apartment and see how I feel. My roommate's supposed to come back home at like 1. So she should be home in 30 minutes. So I'm going to chat with her. And if I feel up to her, I'm going to do a little bit more studying. But probably not. 
feel pretty content with the studying done today. So let's go back to the crib. Go back to the crib. All right. Good morning. Um, I studied today. I had physical therapy this morning, and then I studied. I ended up not studying when I got home yesterday, just because I, I had to do some dishes and just I wind it down that way. But um, I just finished off. I did a couple more stacked ordering. There's all the stuff that I did. Um, I honestly don't really like the way I'm organizing this um, for the stacked ordering. It's too similar to regular ordering. So I think for the stacked ones, I'm going to like do it as a grid and then list all the possibilities so I can answer the questions better that way. And then I even wrote it down here for stacked ordering LG make make one grid all the possibilities so you can frame better because I think like I can answer the questions the if questions very well so like if G were in this position put on all the possibilities like I'm really quick at answering those so if I can get through those quicker put it all on my grid um, which is my like original the original stuff and then go from there I think I'll be good. And then, um, yeah, I think more it's more about, like, the strategy on how I'm figuring them out. So, yeah, there's that. Now, I just wanted to come on here and just, like, chat. Um, like I said, this is something that's really important to me. I was not a stripper first, so I think that's why my content is a little bit different. And the way I approach, the way I see money is a lot different as well. Just because I personally feel like... Your identity as a stripper, it, like, at first it's cool, like, that can be your identity, but nobody wants their identity to be their occupation. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're all people, and that's something that kind of bothers me about the industry. Like, let's take Cardi B, for instance. She's a very established artist, you know, but you'll always, you'll see a headline, former stripper Cardi B. Seriously? We're still on that. She can't move on. She can't have another identity past this. But I also feel like, you know, within the community, like I said, a lot of people are like, I'm going to quit, and then they come back, and then, you know, they make a big deal about quitting, and then come back. And there's nothing wrong with that. All of us have different life paths and things like that. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it's important to develop yourself while you are dancing so you can break away from that and have your own identity outside of stripping. That's something that's very important to me. And I think that that's something that I can see from the outside just because I didn't strip. Hi. I was a, I was a college student. I was just like a regular 9 to 5 person. Still am before I was a stripper, so like my identity isn't completely tied to stripping. I just saw this, I just saw this. Okay, so somebody tweeted, 13 million followers, hundreds of thousands of likes on all pictures, but album sold less than 2,000 copies. That's crazy, the math ain't adding up. So going back to the whole, it's hard to, it's hard to distance yourself from your identity as a stripper. I honestly feel like once you heavily depend on your looks and like i said before the best advice i ever got was education will take you far knowledge will take you so far and you know being in this industry is about looks how you look and how you present yourself is a very big part of you know how you make money and if you become famous you know it only takes you so far like the rest needs to give the rest needs to give you need to have it appear or you have to have refined your skill and somehow because just being sexy with a fat ass is not gonna cut it or just being just being pretty as hell is not gonna cut it i hate to be the person to say that but i feel like that's just a reality that a lot of strippers need to understand like just being pretty is not gonna get you it might get you to places spaces that you might not have been able to get to otherwise pretty privilege is a thing but you just relying on that is not going to get you anywhere. And that's coming from somebody that used to be ugly. Okay, I didn't have titties. I had braces. You know, I wasn't confident. You have to have it all. And that's, that's kind of the unfortunate thing about being a woman. That you have to have it all. You know? And I feel like that kind of abundance mindset will take you a lot further than just, you know, oh, you know, being a social media video vixen and stuff got me here and then I'm going to... No. You have to have been thinking 10 steps ahead, you know? At the same time, I feel like it's very important for us as a community to, like, take accountability. Sorry, they're, like, going ham back there. But take accountability and really do the things that we say we're going to do, you know? If you're going to open your business, go ahead and open your business. My thing is just set yourself up. While you're dancing and you're making money, pay your bills, but set yourself up in the meantime. And 
like I said, it's so easy to just not do that because you're making money. You're like, I want to have fun. I'm around all these fucking scammers, choppers, whatever, rich-ass business guys. I don't have to do shit right now. It's so easy to get into that, but that's the trap. That's the trap. So, yeah, that's all I, that's all I had to add to that. I was just thinking about it. Like, being pretty is only going to take you so far. You really have to refine your skill and, like, be smart about it, too. Like, if you're looking to go into music, you need to know all the ins and outs of music. You know, if what kind of label you're going to sign to, how, how much of your money you're going to be giving up to different types of people. Like, those are all things to be considered. And I feel like, us as a community, but that's a whole other issue for a whole other topic. It's very nuanced, but I feel like the conversation has to start within, within the stripper community. Especially when it comes to career development and refinement just because i think outside critiques of the stripper community is happening which i think is fair like once you start putting your business online like this was once a very taboo industry where nobody talked about anything nobody talked about it nobody showcased it on social media phones weren't even allowed in clubs for a really long time you know but now that people are critiquing it like i seen this video that was like if you've been stripping for five years you know i'm looking at you sideways because where, where is your money to show to a certain extent that's true but i feel like if somebody's not in the industry they don't really understand it if you're not in the industry you kind of don't understand and it's really hard to set yourself up but five years isn't that long five years is not that long of a time you know what i'm saying but people will say it is but i don't know i'm kind of just rambling at this point but I just want to be, like, one of those strippers that, like, stripping is not my main thing. It's not my main identity. I know, like, all the videos up to now has been about stripping. But stripping is a very, 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 like, this big of a part of my life. It's such a minuscule part of my life that, to a lot of people, I don't even mention it. Because it's not really pertinent to the relationship that I have with them. But I have a lot of critiques of it. I have a lot of opinions on the lifestyle now that I've been in it for a good little, good little chunk of time. So, you know, that's something that I like to talk about a lot. I have a lot of critiques of it. I don't plan to stay doing this for a very long time. And I mean that. I mean that shit, like, with my whole heart because ain't no fucking way. No. Today, that's probably all I'm going to do. It's like 10.48 on Friday today. I think I'm going to try to work a double. Um, I want to work a double today. Wish me luck. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Um, I, I'm going to finish up a couple more things. I'm going to try to get this up on my computer and kind of edit it out so I can get it out soon. But I enjoy doing these kind of little chats, chatting about school. I'll probably have a little bit more updates on how school is actually doing. I'm going to contact a couple of faculty at my school so I can get my letters of recs done. I have some judges that I need to get into contact with that I met through my job. Um... I'm going to do that. Um, probably just going to get some other stuff done in the next 30 minutes and then get ready for work. But it was nice chatting with y'all. Um, I will see you in the next one. I'm going to start doing an outro. If you haven't liked, comment, and subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd love to see you come back. I'd love to chat with you. So make sure to subscribe, like, and follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.